Captain's Log, Stardate 91217.6. A few days ago, my ship, the USS Swiftshire, was destroyed by Herald forces during the Second Battle of New Romulus, officially beginning an all out war with the Iconians. Their objective in the attack was to find the location of the Preserver homeworld from data stored with the New Romulus Gateway. And, after finding it, they brought their fleet there and destroyed the planet, along with the first humanoid race ever to exist in our galaxy. And with them, any hope we could possibly have of understanding the Iconians. In the aftermath, our losses included Starbase 234 and over a quarter of the Alliance's combined fleet. But, the war continues. And in furthering our goals of somehow surviving or even winning this war, Starfleet Command has given myself and the former crew of the USS Swiftshire a new ship. Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Trek Online and welcome to USS Tamara, NCC 98607, Odyssey class, crew of 1,462 and maximum warp speed of warp 9.999725. The Odyssey class was originally designed for extreme long-term exploration missions. This does not however mean that she cannot hold her own in a fight. She is one of the most heavily armed ships in the fleet, even more so than the Sovereign class, which will serve us well in the coming mission. Apparently, we're being ordered to join Captain Paris and his team, Delta Flight, to strike a blow against the Iconians. Let's get into it. Cleared for transport at your convenience. Well, I have just beamed aboard the USS Burn to plan the coming mission with the rest of Delta Flight. Zarva reports that they'll be monitoring the system for Herald patrols while I'm in the briefing. She says the transport room will be standing by to return me to the ship immediately if they enter sensor range. Understood, Zarva? Keep an eye out. That, I believe, is Lieutenant Commander Meral Paris, the daughter of Captain Paris. And the person who's here to greet me. At ease, Commander. Welcome to the USS Byrne. Normally, I'm the security chief and second officer on the USS Kirk, but she took heavy damage during the battle in the Lena system. Until she gets out of dry dock, I and many of the crew accepted temporary postings to other ships. I wasn't expecting to get a request to join my father's task force, but Delta Flight is doing some good. I want to help. Well, as I was promoted to the commander of a vessel practically right out of the academy, I never got the chance to experience serving with one of my parents. I'd do you think it would be difficult working with your father? It's not that unusual. My grandfather was an admiral, and my mom, and most of the people I consider my extended family are either in Starfleet or are like Seven, who might as well be. Truthfully, I think Dad's finding this more difficult than I am. Well, Commander, it'll be good to work with you. I'm looking forward to it too. I don't know what crazy scheme my father's cooked up this time, but the more off the wall his ideas are, the more they seem to work. With you on the team, I'm sure we'll complete this mission. But let me know if you need me to translate. Dad has this habit of talking in phrases that went out of style 400 years ago. Fascinating. I'll keep that in mind, Commander. 
400 year old phrases. Fascinating. Well, I'll take this opportunity to familiarize myself with the team. I think I'll start with that Romulan over there. And and a Talaxian. I wasn't expecting a Talaxian here. Uh, Jolon True. Jolon True. Do you understand ancient Earth humor? Uh... Paris, the older one, keeps asking me if I am two weeks from retirement. Is that supposed to be... humorous? Not... as far as I know. I thought so. Look, when things get messy out there, and they will, stick with the team and keep your head down. If we work together, we might just get out of this in one piece. Most of us, anyway. Well, all due respect, I'm the commanding officer of a vessel. Keeping my head down isn't exactly what I do best, but thank you for the advice anyway. And you I recognize as a Talaxian. Greetings. Hello there. I'm Ferex, and I'm a... Well, I don't have a specialization like most of the others. But Captain Paris calls me the cook. I don't know why. I could burn water. <laughs> but it seems to amuse him for some reason. I'm a traitor and blockade runner. Any place where there's conflict, there's usually a few good deals to be made. I wasn't too sure about leaving the Delta Quadrant, knowing the territory is a good part of staying alive, you know. But Tom convinced me. And except for all the Heralds trying to kill us, it's not too bad so far. Well, Heralds aside, I would say that the Alpha Quadrant is more hospitable than the Delta. Well, it's good to have you on the team, Ferex. You know, one of the things I've enjoyed the most about coming here is the opportunity to get to know people from other cultures. Klingons, Romulans, humans, Andorians, Betazoids. So many different and intriguing species. Say, after this mission, how about we grab a drink and I can tell you about the third time I left Benth in custody, and then broke through a fourth defense line to recover the lost chalice of Zizilma. Well, it sounds like an entertaining story. I look forward to it. But let's see how this mission goes before we make any future plans. Knowing the Iconians and the Heralds, there's a good chance that we may not succeed, I'll put it that way. This looks like a, a Klingon indeed. Warrior! Join with us and stab at the heart of the Iconians. We will either be victorious, or we race towards Stovacor. Today is a good day. Kapla! I am the team's weapons expert. Most weapons on ships are too puny. I make them strong. Have you ever wondered what would happen? If you loaded five quantum torpedoes into one casing, uh, you have to reinforce the tubes. But the result is most satisfying. Um, well, I'll consider trying that at some point. That's a Starfleet uniform. However, no rank insignia. Not even a petty officer insignia. Greetings, I'm Captain Blueber Ninja of the Federation Starship... S the Federation Starship... Temera. Andrew Weston, all around genius. Don't let the lack of pips on my collar fool you. I'm just as good as anyone from Starfleet. Better even, because I don't let the rules get in my way. I spent some time at the Academy, but I left when I realized Starfleet wasn't for me. we all stayed. Always wondered if things would have been different for us if she'd had the courage to walk away when I did. Well, I took the liberty of looking up all the available service records for the Delta Flight team, and your service record indicates that you were asked to leave the Academy. Sure. Kirk reprograms the Kobayashi Maru, and he's a legend. I take a creative approach to alter my grade on the Astrometrics final, and I get tossed out on my ear. Starfleet needs to loosen up a bit, if you ask me. And that time I spent in New Zealand? Yeah. I did everything they accused me of, and then I did my time. Like I said, I don't like rules. And yet you volunteered for a war mission. Just because I'm not as stiff doesn't mean I don't want to help win the war. My main focus is computers, specifically encryption algorithms. 
I've been studying the Iconian tech, and I think I've made some inroads into the fractals they're using for... <laughs> you know what? The details don't matter. When it comes to taking out Iconian security protocols, I'm the man for the job. Well, just a reminder, Weston. The chain of command is there for a reason. Keep your focus on your job. Well, issues I have with him as a person aside, his expertise in Iconian technology and computers does sound like it'll be most valuable. And he has another Starfleet officer, a Bajoran. Greetings. I'm Kana Jinnis, the team scout. No one's better than I am at finding trouble. And believe me, I've found plenty. I uh, borrowed my first shuttle off a landing pad when I was 10. I didn't think I'd ever have a chance to join Starfleet. But luckily, people like Captain Paris can see the person behind the incident reports. Now I have a chance to make a difference. Well, I'm glad to have met you, Ensign. It's good to get a chance to know everyone on the team before the action starts. It's bad enough fighting the Herald. We don't need any interpersonal conflicts muddying the waters. You can count on me, sir. And I know I can count on you. Ah, yes indeed, Ensign. Well, I believe that's all of the team. I'll check in with Captain Paris now. Captain, sir. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you again, especially after what happened at New Romulus and Lanus. As you well know, the war is not going too well. Delta Flight is one of the ways we're trying to change that. We're a cross-faction team picked for our abilities, not our politics. Now the Alliance needs us to handle an important mission. I hate putting your crew at risk, too. But, we're gonna need you on this one. You can count on us, sir. What do you need? Oh, not much. We're just gonna slip into a heavily guarded system that the Iconians already control, avoid detection and probable destruction, steal a Solonay device that could give them a beachhead in our dimension, and escape with our lives. Sound like fun? I, well, Captain, I'm ready if you are. So this used to be Calbriden 3. Intelligence believes that the Iconians destroyed the planet to gather materials for a subspace disruption device. We think they intend to use this device to open a door for their Solonay forces to enter our space. A whole new fleet for the Iconians? We can't let that happen. Exactly. But the planetary debris has created an asteroid field, and the mineral content of those asteroids will shield us from the Iconian sensor arrays. I've plotted a course for us, but we'll still need to watch for the Herald patrols. The station with the device is in the center of the debris. Weston will override their computers while we run interference. Once the station shields are down, we'll eliminate it and the device with extreme prejudice. Is that another reference from that ancient program about impossible missions you like to watch? Uh, something like that. The Alliance doesn't have a fleet to send against this station. We're it. If we can't do it, no one can. So, no pressure. I hope you're all ready to do the best flying you've ever done, because that's what we're going to need to complete this mission. Let's head them up and move them out. Dismissed. used to be the planet known as Calbriden 3, uninhabited luckily, but they had high amounts of topoline, uridium, and boronite. When the boronite and uridium are combined and exposed to an electrical charge, they create spatially inverted tetrions, lots of spatially inverted tetrions. That's why the heralds are here, to create a pocket of our space where the Solonay can survive. From there they'll expand, and what's good for the Solonay is fairly terrible for us. Well, it sounds like we've arrived in the nick of time, Captain. The Heralds have set up a security beacon at the entrance to this system. We'll need to disable it before we can attempt to slip through this asteroid field. Understood, Captain. Helm, set a course for the security perimeter satellite full impulse. Okay, Weston. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take down this security grid. We only have a limited amount of time before a patrol comes by and finds us. I need help inputting the proper subspace frequencies as I use my deflector dish to cycle through the possibilities. You'll need to match the alpha, beta, and gamma bands. 
With my subroutine scrambler, that should be enough to break through their security. Right, it seems like the sequence is cycling. Alpha is 2, beta is 6, gamma is... no, beta is 6. That's beta locked in. That's gamma locked in. Right, Terrell execute override. We've done it! Hurry! The security perimeter won't stay down for long! Okay, here's the good news. The topoline and the planetary debris will hide us from the Herald sensors. Now keep the larger deposits between your ship and the Iconian station. If you stray too far off the path, they'll find us. So keep moving and stay in formation. If you encounter any patrols, take them out as quickly as you can. We need to get in position before the Heralds know we're here. How would you rate your piloting abilities? My piloting abilities? Well, well, Captain, I was top of my class in the piloting simulations at the Academy. Bringing up your navigational HUD, now. Ensign Jerez, you're relieved for now? I'll take it from here. P I'm bringing us to full impulse. I can see the navigational HUD. Try to stick to the path I've outlined. Understood, Captain. Right. First point. We have ten seconds to reach the next point. The mineral content of the asteroids will shield us from the Herald sensors. Try to stay in formation with the rest of the squadron. In formation? Right, squadron's right behind us. Oh, looks like a sharp corner ahead. Reducing speed, nope. Speed reduction, unnecessary. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. I'm not sure what that means. Is it some kind of Alpha Quadrant thing? Kinda. I'll explain it later, Ferrex. Fire your proton packs, kids. The next turn is a tight one. Proton pack? Oh, tight turn, reducing speed. And increasing. Seven Easy seconds. Enough six for seconds. A oh, Christ. Some pilot like myself. Bloody hell. Everyone's mom tells them they're handsome. Friendly fire. Ow, I'm wounded. Fewer asteroids through here. More chances of being spotted. Race you! Torpedoes loaded and ready! Sensors show that this asteroid is mostly hollow. If we blow through where the rock is thinnest, we can slip through without being detected. Well, Captain, fire when ready. Fire in the hole! Right, that opened up a convenient hole. God, we nearly rammed into a few of those asteroid fragments. Right, turning to port. This reminds me of flying through Earth's space dock. <laughs> they don't like it when you do that at full impulse. Yeah, uh, wait. Who let Ferrex fly inside ESD? Weston? No comment. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy night. I've flown through worse in the Badlands. Whoa, Morale! Watch the paint job there, Tiger! Don't be a rear seat pilot! I think you mean... backseat driver. But we're flying! Uh, sir. Hard to starboard. Right, reducing speed. Seven seconds. Right, we've got the next checkpoint. Heading down. The next one. Right, we've got it. The next sequence looks pretty straightforward. Pun not intended. Right. Herald patrol up ahead. Take them out before they can warn the others. Understood. All hands to battle stations, red alert, low torpedo bays, power up main phaser banks, lock on target. Fire! Understood, Captain. Bloody hell, they've got us in a tractor beam, it looks like. Evasive sequence Alpha 2. Starboard shields Shield are down. down. We're taking on board Aft weapons, fire. Damn it. Hang on, Moral. I'm bringing a team over to help. Take out those heralds. It sounds like the USS Burn is in trouble, but the battleships have been destroyed. We need backup over here. Get a team, and get over to Morale's ship. Understood, Captain. My team and the Burns crew have cleared most of the boarding parties, but there are still heralds trying to get to the bridge and more pinning me down near the armory. Head toward me. If we can team up, we can make a push towards the bridge. 
Agreed. See you soon, Captain. Well, we've beamed aboard the USS Byrne to assist in repelling the Herald boarding parties. Let's expect a fight. We've beamed aboard with phaser rifles, as is necessary when dealing with Heralds. Right, it sounds like there's a fight to the right and to the left. Oh, looks like those Heralds are trapped behind a force field. Well, I certainly hope it holds until we get through this area. Oh, fire! I'll revive that lieutenant. Cover me! Oh, bloody hell. Good god. Well, unfortunately, the lieutenant's dead. There's nothing I can do for him. Right. Oh, bloody hell! Another bomb! Jesus. Right, the rest of the team seems fine. Let's meet up with Captain Paris. Right. Unsealing armory doors. All right, looks like they're looks like they were pinned down in here, but none of the heralds got inside. Captain, fell back here to grab some phaser rifles and got bottled up by those heralds. Thanks for the help. What's the situation? The bridge crew has sealed off the bridge and locked the ship's computers down, but the heralds aren't giving up. All of the remaining boarding parties are moving toward the bridge. If we don't get there before the heralds break through, they'll slaughter everyone there and set the ship to self-destruct. What about the wounded here, Captain? My away team's medic is already helping the Burns crew. Since your team is here, my people can take the wounded to a transporter and get them to safety. Understood. What's the plan? Now that you and your team are here, we can clear out the remaining heralds, get to a turbo lift, and head to the bridge. Lock and load, everybody. It's time to save the day. We're ready when you are, Captain. Right, let's get ready to move out. With me, let's get to the nearest turbo lift. Let's get to the bridge. Right, turbo lift to the left, I believe. Those heralds are still stuck behind the force field. But the nearest turbo lift is behind that force field with the heralds. Right, let's prepare for a fight. I'm lowering the force field. Fire! Oh, bloody hell. It's one of those unusual heralds. It looks like... It looks like it upgraded itself in the middle of a fight somehow. Oh, and another one. On over there, assaulting Tabral. Bloody hell. Right, the heralds are cleared out. Let's get to the turbo lift. Looks like there's no heralds on this side. Let's continue. Oh, looks like there's more security teams here. Fire! One of those heralds was doing the upgrade thing. Up oh, there it is. Good God. Right, let's get to the nearest turbo lift. Looks like everyone's still with us. Let's move. Here's the turbo lift. Right, unsealing bridge turbo lift doors. Looks like the Burns crew sealed them in an attempt to stop the Heralds, but of course they have gateway technology. Right, everyone in the turbo lift. Bridge, direct. Oh, weapons ready, fire! Oh, it's bloody hell! It's one of those massive ones. God, good God. Bloody hell. Oh, Christ. Christ, get out of the way! We don't want to be crushed. Right, the massive one's been dealt with. That's the hardest part of this done. But we've still got more heralds. Firing! Oh. Right, looks like the bridge is clear. I think that's the last of them. What's our status? All other ships in the squadron are secure, Commander. Your ship is damaged and you have crew in sick bay, Morale. I don't want any unnecessary casualties. I have great respect for your abilities, but if this is some sort of Klingon, glory-seeking, never give up, today is a good day to die kind of thing... Everyone on this ship knew the risks when we started this mission, including me. The boarding parties are gone and we need to keep moving. We have to get to the station and finish our mission before we run into any more Herald patrols. As much as I hate to say it, you're right. If we live through this, your mom is going to be so proud, but she's going to think I was an idiot for trying to hold you back. That's if we live. 
What do we need to do to get your ship back up and running? I would like to assist as well. I have an able engineer on my team. What can we do? I know a few of Andrew's tricks. Use one of his encrypted override codes to lock the Heralds out of our computers so they couldn't take control of the ship. I could use some extra hands to get these systems restored. Understood, Commander. Good job on the computers, Morale, but... But Andrew? Did he teach you anything else that got him sent to a penal colony? Ca can't that wait until later, Captain? We do have things to do. Namely, getting the burn back online. Right. Seems the... Seems the Captain agreed. Right, Nessie's with me. Let's repair the burn. I'm restoring power relays. That does it. Let's both get back to our ships and finish this. Agreed, Captain. Temera, the away team is ready to transport. Transport us directly to the bridge and prepare to get moving. The Heralds are going to notice one of their patrols is missing. Let's move. We're ready when you are, Captain. Right, I'm taking the helm once again. Full impulse! Time to pick up the pace, people! I got some scans of those ships. Should give me an advantage when we get to the station. We're coming up on the center of their operations. Reducing speed. Turning to starboard. Right, increasing speed again. Increasing by five degrees. Right, the next point's up there. Looks like we'll make it. Detecting Solanay energy signatures ahead. Ah, Solanay, ugh. They give me the creeps. Good God, look at that. Right, looks like the rest of the squadron is with us. Right. Red alert, all hands to battle stations. Low torpedo base, power up main phaser banks. Prepare to engage the Herald forces and destroy whatever the hell that is. Target the ships defending the station. Therese, you can have the helm again. Fire! Up to port. Right, that battleship has been destroyed. Target the next. Aft weapons. Fire! Right, the next battleship has been destroyed. But we're not out of the woods yet. Another battleship has entered through a gateway. Right, battleship's been destroyed. The area's clear for now. Weston, you're up. We'll keep them busy. On it! Iconian energy signature detected. Evasive maneuvers. Pattern, Paris Delta 2. Andrew! We need to abort. We can't do this without Weston. I can do it. Andrew gave me a backup copy of his algorithms in case something happened. We're... We're falling back. Dad, I know you mean well. I have to do this. You know what will happen if the Solanae can break through. We'll lose everything. Okay, Moral. You can be almost as stubborn as your mother, but I know when I'm beat. All right, people, you heard her. We're going in hot. Cover Moral's ship so she can finish this. We are Delta Flight, and we will not be stopped. Oh, looks like another gate opening. And another battleship appearing. Scratch that. Another dreadnought appearing. All weapons! Fire! Target that solar gateway before it can target us! Right, the solar gateway has been disrupted. Target the dreadnoughts. They've got us in a tractor beam. Aft weapons. Fire. Aft to port, evasive pattern Alpha 2. Aft weapons. Fire. Bloody hell. Oh, solar gateway targeted before it can target us. Right, solar gateway has been disrupted. Bloody hell. Aft shields are down. Auxiliary part of shields. Evasive pattern Alpha 2. Fire tri cobalt devices from aft torpedo bays. The station shields are down. It can be damaged. The dreadnoughts retreated. It seems the tri cobalt devices convinced them to do so. Right. 
Target those shielding nodes. Let's prepare to fire so we can disrupt this thing. Fire! Shields disrupted. Target the next. Our hull's at 75%. Right, target the next node. Fire all weapons! We're getting there. Attack the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought? Right, forget the shield arrays. Target that Dreadnought. We'll get back to them in a second. Fire! Out to starboard. Invasive pap. Delta 5, target that solar gateway. Bloody hell, we all just passed right through it into a sun. Aft weapons. Fire. Tractor beam. Aft to port, prepare to fire forward torpedo bays. Bloody hell, and we're taking a beating. Belay that order, hard to starboard. Evasive pattern, Delta 4. Aft weapons, fire! Right, come about. Let's target them again with our four torpedo bays. Tactical, fire another spread of those tri devices. Right, that did some damage. Two left on the station. Take them out now. The Dreadnoughts retreated. Helm, take us back to those nodes. Prevent a fire. Tactical. All weapons. Fire. Last node. Destroy it. And we take, can us take out the Dreadnought and finish this. Understood, Captain. Helm. Full impulse. Tactical, prepare a spread of torpedoes. And fire. Four torpedo bays. Fire! Shields are offline. Destroy the dreadnought. Oh, bloody hell, the dreadnought's back. Right, tactical, prepare to engage that dreadnought. Maintain red alert. Low torpedo bays. Fire all weapons! Right, hard to starboard. Evasive pattern, Delta 2. Aft weapons, fire! Right, come about. Heading, 2, 7, 1, Mark 5. Four torpedoes, fire! Right, hard to port, they've got us in a tractor beam. Evasive pattern, Alpha 2. Keep auxiliary power diverted to shields. Let's deal with this dreadnought. Off torpedoes. Fire! Right, come around. Let's re-engage the dreadnought. Our shields have regenerated sufficiently. We're re-engaging. Oh, target that solar gateway. Right, target the dreadnought. Fire! Tactical, get ready to fire another spread of those tri devices. Fire! Fire all weapons! Right, the Dreadnought's hull integrity is down to 12%. Looks like it's not retreating now. Right, let's finish this. Target that solar gateway. Fire! Right, the Dreadnought's been destroyed. Helm, take us to a safe distance for the warp core detonation. Right, the shields took the brunt of that. something, and it's not just to bring the shields up. I think... They're activating the station. They're trying to bring the Solanae through. Good God. Give me just... Got it! Core shields down. Hit them now! All ships, destroy the station! Tactical, fire all weapons! Detecting a power surge! I have their main computer. They're still trying to start the conversion process, but their shields are completely down. Okay, let's blow up this thing and head home. We're being pulled in! Evasive maneuvers! Yee-haw! I 
I found something interesting in the computer system before the station blew. It's coordinates for another sphere. And this one looks to be very strategically important. It might even be a secondary hub for the Iconian Gateway Network. I grabbed everything on it I can find. I'll transmit the files to Captain Cogren at Alliance Command. Maybe he can get a team together to investigate.